hello friends welcome to my channel maths tutorial Kajit and this is this video is on inverse Laplace transformation multiplication by s mathematical physics for msc and bsc students this is lecture number 12 and previous lectures are uh, link of the previous lectures are given in the description box and here we're going to solve uh, these three problems and uh, we're going to discuss um, before we solve these three problems, we, we're going to discuss how to solve this kind of problems. Uh, how to find the inverse Laplace transformation of this kind of function, s into f of s. Okay, if uh, Laplace transformation of, you know, inverse Laplace transformation of f of s is uh, t, f of t, then what will be inverse Laplace transformation of s into f of s? How to find those kind of, uh, you know, inverse Laplace transformation? So we're going to discuss about that before we start please subscribe to the channel if you are new to my channel and uh, share with your friends and hit the thumbs up button bell icon and uh, you know stay connected so now let's start now multiplication by s what does it mean suppose if the inverse laplace transformation of f of s inverse laplace transformation of f of s is f of t right f of t then inverse Laplace transformation of f of s multiplied by s right that means s into f of s that will be given by f dash of t plus f of 0 right uh, f dash of t means uh, you know the dt of f of t right so that is what it means so now let me uh, take some questions then you will understand better suppose we need to find the inverse Laplace transformation of s by s plus 5 right we need to find this so how to solve this kind of problem now let us solve this so Laplace transformation of s by s plus 5 so it can be written as Laplace transformation of s into 1 by s plus 5 right so here uh, we're gonna take this 1 by s plus 5 as f of s right so L L inverse laplace transformation of f of s so that means in this case our f of s is 1 by uh, inverse laplace transformation of uh, uh, f of s is uh, here in this case s plus 5 right 1 by s plus 5 so we know inverse Laplace transformation of 1 by s plus a that is e to the power minus a t right so when you take a uh, inverse Laplace transformation of s minus a that's gonna be equal to e to the power a t so now we uh, now if you take uh, s plus a then it will be e to the power minus a t right uh, so in this case uh, here a will be 5 so in that case so its result should be e to the power minus 5 t right and this can this is your f of t right this f of t uh, right now let us find f dash of t that means derivative of f of t that means e to the power minus 5 derivative of e to the power minus 5 and that's going to be equal to minus 5 e to the power minus 5 t right and f of 0 will be f of 0 will be so if you put 0 here then what you will get f of 0 e to the power minus 5 into 0 that's going to be e to the power 0 which is equal to 1 so therefore according to the definition Laplace transformation of s into sorry s into f of s that is equal to laplace transformation of uh, s by s plus 5 that is equal to by definition f dash of t plus f of 0 so here f dash of t is minus 5 e to the power 5 right so this is minus 5 e to the power minus 5 t 
then plus f of 0 here f of 0 is 1 so plus 1 right so so here we need to put the value of f dash of t and f of 0 then you will get Laplace transformation of s into f of s so here our s into f of s is this this is s this is f of s right so that means s by s plus 5 right so it's inverse Laplace transformation is this this is the answer so hope you have understood this so let me write the answer on this side just wait so let me write this answer here we have got minus 5 e to the power minus 5 into t plus 1 so this is the inverse Laplace transformation right of s by s plus 5 that is equal to minus 5 e to the power minus 5t plus 1 this is your answer right so now let's move on to the next question now let us solve this question uh, inverse Laplace transformation of inverse Laplace transformation of s square by s square plus a square now it can be written as inverse Laplace transformation of s into s by s square plus a square right we can write that way so here we're going to take this as f of s right so here we're going to take f of s is s by s square plus a square right so inverse laplace transformation of f of s that's going to be inverse laplace transformation of s by s square plus a square and which is equal to uh, if you know this formula that uh, s by s square plus a square is cos a t so this is our f of t right now let's find f dash of t that means differentiate with respect to t differentiate the uh, cos a t this is our f of t right with respect to t then you will get minus a sine a t right a sine a t then we need f of 0 f of 0 if you put 0 here t is equal to 0 here then what you will get cos a into 0 that means cos of 0 which is equal to 1 cos of 0 is 1 and we know that by definition inverse Laplace transformation of s into f of s that's going to be equal to f dash of t plus f of 0 right so here Laplace transformation of here s into this is the s into f of s right so that means uh, here we know this is e also equal to s square by a s square plus a square right so that's why Laplace transformation of inverse Laplace transformation of s square by s square plus a square will be equal to let's put the value of f dash t which is equal to minus a sine a t right minus a sine a t then let's put the value of f of 0 which is equal to 1 here so plus 1 so we have put the value of f dash of t and f of 0 from these two results right so hope you have watched the video and note it down and let me show you how to solve one more problem now let us uh, solve this how to find a laplace inverse laplace transformation of this so here you see inverse laplace transformation of s square plus 4 by s square plus 9 so here you see uh, that uh, s square plus 4 by s square plus 9 which also can be written as s square by s square plus 9 can be written as 3 square then plus 4 by s square plus 3 square right so you can express this way right so in that case it can be written as inverse Laplace transformation of s square into s is but sorry by s square plus 3 square then plus inverse Laplace uh, transformation of uh, here this 4 is constant so it can be taken out 4 into inverse Laplace transformation of 1 by s square plus 3 square right so here you see you can assume uh, this 
you can uh, now take this part so it can be written in this form so inverse laplace transformation of s into 1 by s square plus 3 square right you can write that way also sorry so here it should be not 1 by s by s square plus 3 square right you can write that way then plus 4 into laplace transformation of 1 by s square plus 3 square okay you can do that way so here you see now this can be considered as s into f of s right s into f of s so s into f of s if you consider that s into f of s now let us take this is equation number one so here you see let us find this one first this part okay so what are we gonna get you just let me change the ink now you see laplace transformation of inverse laplace transformation of s into s by s square plus 3 square right so here our f of s here our f of s is s by s square plus 3 square so now let us find the inverse laplace transformation of s by inverse laplace transformation of f of s that means uh, that means inverse laplace transformation of s by s square plus 3 square and we know that inverse laplace transformation of s by s square plus s square is cos 80 so here a is 3 so it will be cos 3t right cos 3t so this is our f of t okay this is our f of t just uh, let me rearrange this uh, then we're gonna use the next slide so this is our equation number one okay so this is the equation number one you can say this equation number one just arrangement okay this is our equation number one so now uh, okay let us copy these things uh, and let me go to the next slide okay let me go to the next slide so here you see this is the equation number one okay so now we have got f of t right so let's find f dash of t why because we have already got that if laplace uh, sorry inverse laplace transformation of f of s is equal to f of t then inverse laplace transformation of s into f of s that is given by f dash of t plus f of zero so let's find f dash of t that means uh, derivative of f of t with respect to t cos 3t and its derivative will be minus 3 sine 3t right and f of 0 f of 0 will be equal to if you put here 0 then you will get cos 0 which is equal to 1 and therefore therefore plus uh, inverse laplace transformation of s into 1 by uh, sorry not 1 by s by s by s square plus 3 square we should get uh, is equal to f dash of t plus f of 0 so f dash of t we have got minus 3 sine 3t three then f of 0 is 1 that is what we have got so we have got the value of this part now what will be this right so you know here you see one more thing inverse laplace transformation of inverse laplace transformation of 1 by you just uh,
1 by s square plus a square here a square is 3 square so that's gonna be equal to that's gonna be equal to 3 sine uh, sorry not 3 that's gonna be equal to 1 by 3 sine 3d because here we have used this concept uh, that inverse Laplace transformation of 1 by s square plus a square that is 1 by a sine a t right so here a t is a is our 3 in this case so so here we have got this uh, result uh, these two results so this is suppose this is suppose equation number two this is suppose equation number three now let us use two and three in one this is so now so what we're going to do we're going to use or we're going to put uh, or we're going to replace this term here you can see you can replace this term right by this value minus 3 sine t plus 1 and you can replace this 4 into this one you can replace this part by this result okay so then what you will get if you do so then let me go to the next slide okay just let me clean this okay so we can write using let me go to another next slide just uh, let me copy the equation number one and these two equations this is suppose equation number two and this is equation number three okay let me copy these three now you see as we have taken new slide so i have written the equations again what we have got in the previous slide now let us use these values in equation number two and three uh, in equation number one let us use two and three using two and three in one so if you use that inverse Laplace transformation of s square plus four by s square plus nine and right that's gonna be equal to we have got uh, this is equal to minus 3 sine 3 t plus 1 right so what we have got we have got minus 3 sine 3 t right plus 1 then we also have got this value inverse Laplace transformation of this 1 by 3 sine t so as we have 4 here so we have got 4 here so that's why you will get 4 into 1 by 3 sine 3 t so you can write this uh, as like this 4 by 3 sine 3 t no, so no. let us add these two okay then what you will get taking 3 lcm so you will get minus minus 9 sine 3 t plus 4 sine 3 t divided by 3 divided by 3 then plus 1 and that is that will be equal to let me write this one here okay and that's gonna be equal to here you see uh, minus 9 sine 3 t plus 4 sine 3 t that's gonna be minus 5 right minus 5 by 3 sine 3 t plus 1 so this is our answer so hope you have understood this so if you and if you like the video just uh, share with your friends and hit the thumbs up button and if you are new to my channel just uh, click the subscribe button so that you can stay connected and it's fair me to create new contents for you and just uh, you know leave comments uh, do you like my videos or not is there any corner that uh, where i need to work okay so also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded so thank you for watching see you in the next video